Hello, and welcome to our Firebird Database Administrator Training. This is the first of a series of tutorial sessions covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klent and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll start in this first session with taking an initial look at database backups, why they're necessary, and the Firebird garbage collection. The wonderful thing about Firebird databases is that you don't actually need to know or do much to administrate them once they're up and running. When the application is programmed well, especially in the context of transactions, no maintenance is necessary at all. The majority of Firebird apps run constantly online 24-7, 365 days a year. There is actually no need to shut down a Firebird server unless you encounter hardware problems or wish to install to another server. This series aims to cover a few basic preemptive tasks to ensure your Firebird database runs safely, securely, and lasts longer without needing any additional help. When we get called into sites, it's often too late. Things have already gone horribly wrong. The databases are often corrupt beyond recognition. Normally, it's because they haven't been performing very well for some time, and the performance has constantly been degrading. 95 times out of 100, it's because the client application is not programmed very well, and developers often neglect their apps in terms of code reviews, checking how the database works. Not just relying on the performance of the test data, but checking and reviewing the performance in a live environment with real data. In the course of this first tutorial session, which will be published as a series of around eight brief tutorial videos, we will be looking at the following tasks. Administrative tasks, installing the Firebird server, server versions and differences, aliases, files and paths, firebird.conf, multi-generational architecture, background information, analyzing database statistics, and automating your backup and restore. Later, we will show you a couple of tips how to detect whether a database has been programmed well or not. Database analysis is an important factor to detect exactly what Firebird is doing and when. The Firebird server has a certain functionality, so-called multi-generational architecture. This multi-generational architecture, or MGA, is Firebird's brilliant multi-version concurrency control. It is the method used to prevent two or more users changing a single dataset at the same time. It provides each user connected to the database with a snapshot of the database for that person to work with. Any changes made will not be seen by other users of the database until the transaction has been committed. Firebird and Interbase implement this architecture using record versions. These record versions are maintained by Firebird parallel to the original datasets until a commit or rollback has been executed or until the server is restarted. When Firebird restarts, it rolls back all active transactions. MGA can, however, unfortunately be a potential source of poor performance if the database is not well programmed. A classic example is, when an application becomes steadily slower, it is almost always due to a single reason. We'll take a look at that later on in this series, how to recognize it by analyzing the database parameters, as there are certain internal Firebird parameters which cause this when Firebird hasn't been programmed properly. Even though you will hardly, if ever, need your backup, it is vital you perform them regularly. You don't need to disconnect users from the system before backing up the database, as Fiber performs a so-called hot backup. GBAC is the tool used to perform the backup, and this tool ensures consistency, even when users make alterations as the backup is running. So it doesn't matter whether you perform your backup at lunchtime or at midnight. A database backup can also be performed using the IB Expert Services menu item, Backup Database. For obvious reasons, should you need to perform a database restore, it is vital that no users are working on the database during the restore. A database restore can be performed using the IB Expert Services menu item, Restore Database, or the Firebird command line tool, GBAC. Please note that if you run the GBAC restore in verbose mode, it can take an awfully long time. When performing a backup, only the index definitions are stored. Then, when the database is restored, data is restored into the tables, and right at the end, the indices are newly generated. A backup and restore also resets all transaction parameters that can be viewed in the database statistics. 
always back up onto another machine. Check that the file stamp is different and do a test restore regularly to confirm that all backup files are fine. It is possible to automate the database backup in a batch file in the Windows Schedule Tasks. Although a great tool for automating your backups and restores is also the IB Expert Server Tool, IB Expert Backup Restore. This enables you to automate backups and restores and can send you an email to inform you of any errors or confirming that there were no errors. We'll look at automating your backups and test restores in a later tutorial. Garbage Collection as you make changes to tables and table structures, it leaves behind old versions of information that need cleaning at some point. Poor programming, poor transaction handling, no time out on the transactions, all deny the garbage collection the ability to clean up old records. Garbage collection is the ongoing cleaning of the database and is performed in the background around the clock. This constantly reorganizes the memory space used by the database. If you don't clean up, database performance will slowly but surely degrade. Garbage collection works for both data pages and index pages. So, garbage collection depends on proper transaction handling. Reorganizing data is carried out by Firebird constantly in the background. The reorganization of memory used by the database is also constant. Garbage collection works for data and index pages. Garbage collection also includes the reorganization of memory for indices. If you've added 100,000 datasets and then proceeded to delete 100,000 datasets, an index won't help if the 100,000 deleted sets are still calculated in the selectivity. The garbage collector tidies and removes obsolete data. Garbage collection does not require administrative commands. The Firebird Garbage Collector does not require administrative commands or manual maintenance, as certain other database environments do. Whether the garbage collector works efficiently or not depends upon how the application works. So, that was our initial introduction to the basic tasks of a database administrator. This series will continue looking more closely at the individual database administration tasks. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next subject in our series for database admins. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. Mm -hmm.